Welcome back, everybody, to more 80 days here on Additional Pylons Games. We're picking up right where we left off last episode. Time for us to continue on across the Pacific Ocean. The salty air blew cool and sharp against my face as I opened the door onto the de top deck. Hmm. Only passengers awake were a group of Chinese laborers hunched miserably near the stern. Um, vomiting copiously into a bucket, I offered him as much space as I could give him. Don't get anything on my shoes. Here we are on the water lily. Underground gambling den raided in Nice. We visited that place. Actually. Alright, I accompanied Ms. Your Fog to a game of whist with a family of American missionaries who were traveling back to San Francisco for a family wedding. Hmm. Master began strongly, but Mademoiselle Loretta, the eldest girl, had a sharp eye and won several hands in a row. A new round was dealt. I noticed Mademoiselle Loretta. Hmm. Smiled triumphantly at my master's play. Play another winning hand at minister's daughter. Accepted Ms. Your Fogg's congratulations demurely, though I saw a flash of something altogether unsporting in her eyes as she lowered her lashes. Mm, it left a sour taste. Hmm. Seems that she might be a cheater. International jewel thief, the Black Rose. Fox's French police. Yes. Spent today in the company of water lily submariners, har all hardy men and women, preferred the dim and close spaces of the hold to the top deck. Too much sky, one of them said. All that fresh air, they shuddered. <laughs> That's funny. Um, offered an alternative. No great desire to sprint through the ill-lit, echoing ship's corridors. Short Japanese-American woman gave me a look of scorn. What do you suggest? A uh, test of acrobatic skill. Form a pyramid or walk the length of corridors in their hands. Uh, they competed with me. I hustled them most dishonorably, pretending to be clumsy off balance, only to suddenly discover a talent for scaling bulkheads. To zoom in to, to my friends, you're not so bad. There we go. So we made some friends with the, with the submariners. Might come in handy in our, later in our trip. Let's converse. There we are. Commander Davis. All right. We already know about San Francisco to Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City to Vegas. Salt Lake City to Dallas. Gastown. Calgary. Regina. Winnipeg. Across Canada, if we wanted to go that way. I was climbing the ringing as exercise, of course. When I heard a two crewmen arguing pigeon mix of English and Japanese. Um... Peered upwards. Both Japanese, one is dressed in a Western style, the other is Japanese, Hanten and Hakama. Unable to look away, he fell. His body lay still and crumpled on the deck. I heard his scream in my head for days after. Wow. Um, let's follow him. Let's be adventurous. Murder on the high seas. A little bit of news. Sparker's last ship. Rumors of octopus-shaped craft seen at night. Octopus. Wow. All right. Water Lily's crew held a funeral for the dead sailor. I was not spe specifically invited, but I uh, was curious about the incident. Learn more about the crew. Captain Wicker led a Christian service with customary grimness. I was surprised by the absence of the American minister. Different denomination. Fair enough. There could be, there can actually be more uh, dispute between Christian denominations than there is between Christians and other religions. Um, consider the missionary family on a short step from us heathens. Huh. Oddly, only half the crew come to pay their respects. I asked my neighbor. Joseph was a convert. The captain taught him to read the Bible himself. The rest of the crew are heathens. They stay away from our godly ceremonies. Interesting. Dealing with uh, religious tensions here on the high seas. Greetings, Reverend. Uh, San Francisco to Cheyenne. Let's see. Cheyenne to Albuquerque. You find the book of Job most helpful, don't you? Sure. I think younger people simply do not read scripture anymore. Uh, 
let's talk more about Albuquerque, actually. Albuquerque to Houston. Albuquerque to Dallas. Uh, offer the minister a biscuit. Let's talk more about Dallas. Dallas to Dakar. Dallas to Pitcairn Island. Darn. Uh, the Book of Job, for those of you who don't know, the Book of Job is the story of how a very righteous man is tempted by the devil and, like, very strange for him to say that he finds that helpful because it's basically the story of how a wealthy man gets completely just like destroyed. Um, across the international dateline. Yes. Basically the book of Job is where uh, this guy basically has this great life, gets his life ruined and uh, because God allows it. Yesterday's storm hits us with a little warning. One moment I was hmm, preparing a shaving water being tossed one end of the cabin to the other we were only lucky that the bed was securely nailed to the floor uh rain clattered against our iron hull yeah no land anywhere in sight apparently we had to take a sharp course to avoid the storm fog said to have crossed the date line so we're at day 44 which i think is better than the last series last time uh captain announced a change in destination the water lily would now make for a nearby Hawaii rather than San Francisco would make our port in Honolulu in five days. Have to find further conveyance. Um, yes. Indeed not, sir. I agreed. Bring Ned on word as a gentleman. We must. Use your natural charm. We will mutiny in five days when we reach Honolulu. Make your preparations. Fit. Mizier Fog wants us to mutiny the ship. <laughs> All right, Captain. Uh, talk about Honolulu. Um, Honolulu to pick Aaron. Absolutely not. Tabatinga. Enough talking. Mr. Top Hat here. Not taking us the right direction. My task is clear to prevent mutiny aboard the Water Lily. I decided to begin by exploiting the crew's animosity toward one another, divide and conquer. So, dear my man, always counseled. Considered inflaming their religious passions, though such passions were by nature unpredictable, decided to. Hmm. Spread rumors about the Shinto crew members. Not good. Keep trying. Mademoiselle. Hello. Honolulu. They say King Kamehameha III is a devout Christian. All right. Uh, Honolulu to Port Moresby. I think I will marry a Frenchman. Really? And you will do, so long as they have the vowel. Uh, Honolulu to Batavia. Honolulu to Auckland. Um, we're not getting a whole lot out of her. Except for maybe a marriage proposal. It was with satisfaction I noted a certain increase in tension aboard the Water Lily. Master's Mutiny would... Uh, Alright, next I attempted to ingratiate myself with... The Submariners? Yes. have submerged i agree just all our lives i think perhaps he does not trust your ability as submariners shrugged and hurried away maybe that did it a little more conversation is your fog how are we doing on money okay Made a hefty wager. And attempted to suborn the obvious targets about the water lily, but wars were won by unexpected without mine. I turned my attention to um the ship's artificer. 
torsely neutral in the matter of conflict or civil disruption by um, peeled, bribed her with 50 pounds. Well, that was a failure. Ah, Reverend Honolulu to Acapulco. All right, Acapulco to Tabatinga. London, Reverend Jim Cleet. London to Ponta Delgada. London to Snowden. Hmm, okay. If we can get to Ponta Delgada, that would be advantageous. Putting the last finishing touches on my planned mutiny. Math, a matter as delicate and serious as the creation of souffle by Master Chef. Um, spread word of my signal amongst my allies and uh, stayed up late. Every man and woman on my side was true. Here we go, guys. We might be leading a mutiny on the ship. Last chance. Let's talk. Uh, Honolulu to Acapulco, Acapulco to Havana, to Panama City. Give her some perfume. I want to talk more about Havana. Havana to Nassau. Havana to Port au Prince. Uh, give her a cracker. <laughs> Nassau. Let's talk about Nassau. Uh, Nassau to Pitcairn Island. Nassau to Port au Prince. Alright. Did we discover anything? Doesn't seem like it. We reached Honolulu in the dark. The captain took a small skiff onto the harbor. A few of his officers wishing to inquire about repairs before putting the water lily. Dry dock, Mr. Fogg. Watch the boat for a long moment. Now is the time he said, I trust everything in his order. Um, voice my doubts. Hope you aren't, in this case, mistaken. And I called the signal to arms. Water lily erupted in chaos everywhere. The clash of sabers and pistols now. And then I heard a shriek of officers' sonic weapons. Half the crew that followed the Christian faith fell in behind me with a rallying cry. They fought their Shinto crewmates with vicious determination, clearing the top deck within an hour. Chinese laborers put their heads out of the cabin in noise and confusion, but seemed to decide upon a policy of a detached observation. All right. The submariners, led by Captain Davis, emerged quietly. There was a long, terrible moment when I wondered at their allegiance. Then Commander Davis caught my eye and nodded. We know it is time for a change. By noon, it was clear all our efforts were for naught. However, the mutiny did not have the support and numbers required to defeat those who had maintained their loyalty. Captain Wigger and other officers returned in time to smother the last flames of the rebellion. My master and I, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's only due to Captain Wicker's good grace that we retained our luggage. Our mutinous comrades were not treated with such leniency and were thrown unceremoniously below. Rather badly done. Um, could not have disagreed. So, mutiny didn't happen, apparently. And again, we end up in Honolulu. Alright, some of our possessions could be sold well here. We can go to Acapulco, but we don't want to. We want to go to San Francisco. Let's zoom out a little bit. All right. Stay the night. Hmm. Town was hidden behind groves of coconut eucalyptus. Um, we rested in a comfortable, comfortable hut. And we need to explore. Get ourselves some new roots, hopefully. Man, look at that. Could have uh could have made San Francisco real easy. But no. Alright. Let's go ahead and can we depart? We can go ahead and depart. Seven fifty. Um Parts at five. Okay, so we got time. Let's go to the market. Compass. I think we want to keep the heavy seas stuff. Lima, Panama City. Hey, yeah. Valuable here. That's kind of weird. All right, let's try and do some reworking. Let's get rid of this for the open road. 
and we'll put the accordion in here and there we go zoom out and san francisco arrives saturday let's embark one more extra space and here's to hoping that banana boat really we're taking a banana boat across the ocean all right uh boarded a steam barge from honolulu san francisco the scent of ripe bananas pervaded every plank of decking and bulkhead sweet delicious rotting odor which uh i became rather accustomed to french heartbreaker woos yokohama crowd for one night only that's us <laughs> Let's zoom out here. Oh, nope, never mind. Arga health. Don't even convince my mouth. Ate fried kippers and potatoes for breakfast. Everything smells of bananas. He couldn't smell a thing. Uh, still, if bananas were worse than my trouble, that would be no such bad thing. I agree. Given our attempted mutiny aboard a submarine ship, I think that a smooth ship ride is what we're looking for here. Woke in the middle of the night, convinced someone was in the cabin with me. Um, stayed very still and listened. I can shuffle, open my eyes, looked up, saw the sheen pair of eyes vacantly in the your fog. What are you doing in your cabin? Do you know better than I, monsieur? exclaimed. Seems I have been sleepwalking. <laughs> okay, not done since I was a child. Please accept my apology. Uh, would you like to stay for a while? I would like that. Sleepwalking. Interesting. All right, let's talk with the captain. San Francisco to Burlington. Burlington to Omaha. Burlington to Cheyenne. Give her some perfume. She looks like the kind of lady that likes a good perfume. Uh, okay, New York to Dallas. Do you think you'll have it? Jeez, come on. You're like, goodness gracious, lady, talk to me about. My goodness. All right. Dallas. I want to talk about Dallas. Dallas to Dakar. Dallas to Marrakesh. Cracker biscuits. Have a biscuit along with your. All right. Dakar. Slave trade. Dakar to Freetown. Dakar to Freetown. To Caracas. All right. Did we learn anything? New Orleans to Atlanta. Atlanta to Washington and to New York. So we got some new routes. Captain Kalani was a heavily pregnant Hawaiian woman who found Ms. Fogg's English accent a source of great mirth. Say something else she demanded over breakfast, please, Mr. Fogg. Um, I let her amuse my, herself. Uh, raw fish pineapple with a horrible relish. Uh, Gave me a beseeching look once or twice. Um, I know I must be mistaken. Hmm. All right. Let's just get there. African airships will dominate the skies. Let's just get to San Francisco. Well behind schedule. Fourth day of our barge. Passed quietly. Captain Kalani moved slowly on our deck. Profile jaw. Profile jaw droppingly large. When are you due? When we dock, not the day before. Oh my god. We're gonna get stuck. We're gonna get stuck caring for a pregnant woman in San Francisco. Without any further incident. Oh, that's so good to know. Well, unfortunately, our mutiny didn't happen, but we still made it to San Francisco. Day 54. Hopefully we can get across America without a, much trouble. Anyways, we'll continue next time on our trip around the world. Thanks again for tuning in for a little bit more. 80 days here on Additional Pawns Games, and we'll see you soon.